T-M-J. Not T-M-I. T-M-J. Say it with me. T-M-J. Do you have it? Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Ryan Packard, here in McKinney and Anna, Texas. I recently saw a patient who came in, we had treated this patient with Invisalign and came in, was having problems opening and closing the mouth. Maybe some soreness and lock jaw, or you can't like open or close your mouth. It's kind of scary. Anyways, we got talking about TMJ. And I wanted to relate to you these thoughts because you might have TMJ. Okay, you might be like, why is he giving those weird eyes? Well, that's because. Do you have TMJ? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. Does everybody have TMJ? Yes, because TMJ stands for temporomandibular joint. In fact, you have two. One, two, two temporomandibular joints. And those joints contribute to your ability to open and close your mouth, chew, talk, all those things. So do you have TMJ? Yes, you do. Well, then what's it called when we have like issues related to our TMJs? One way to refer to those are temporomandibular disorders or disorders of the joint of the TMJ. That's just one way to refer to it. But you can't walk around and be like, I have TMJ because Yes, you do. <laughs> Everybody does. You do have it. But what if you also have pain oh, here, or maybe, you know, maybe you got the locked jaw where you can't open or close and it's kind of scary. And the list actually goes on and on because temporal mandibular disorder is one category in what we call oral facial pain. That means mouth and face, neck, pain. Uh, sometimes pain in one area of your body and face can show up in another place. And it's kind of weird, but because our body is so connected with all the nerves and everything like that, pain in one area can be referred or show up in another area. So just because you have pain here doesn't mean that there's necessarily something wrong in that area, not necessarily. Okay, anyways, this patient came in and we were talking about treatment and the benefits of orthodontic treatment or moving your teeth and the potential issues associated with orthodontic treatment. And the concern was, up is like, hey, I never had this happen before. And then I, you know, moved some teeth and now I had it happen. There has been extensive research done to suggest that orthodontic treatment or moving teeth likely will not benefit the joint, but also just as likely not hurt the joints. Does that make sense? So obviously we have our teeth and the way that we bite down here can affect our joints here. One particular position that is beneficial to fix, at least some of the evidence suggests it, is if you have a crossbite in the back, okay? While you're growing, because, because the joints, if you grow into that position, disc associated with the joint, the musculature, all the things that are connected to our joints, which is a lot of things, can get out of harmony. And so you could get instability and that could lead to issues down the road. But these are other things that we know. Unfortunately, the research suggests that there may be a predilection, I think that's the right word, that females might be predisposed to having these issues, right? I'm sorry, ladies. The other thing is that some of these issues that we have when we're young, they go away when we get older. It can be transient and there's lots of different contributing factors, right? So it's not just our teeth that affect this. We have muscles, we have nerves, there is emotional and mental stress that contribute to the way that our body responds. There can be inflammatory issues. It can be anatomical, like we said, muscular, but it could also be related to the disc. If you wanna look it up. Anyways, there's just so many different things. And as a complex human being, there are so many things going on. It can be hard to figure out exactly what is going on. So assuming that your bite is in a good position, that means your teeth fit together, really well in the back, okay? You've got the intercuspation and you're not like, you know, pushing forward to that position, right? Because if you push forward, you're pushing forward to that position all the time, that could cause some stress there in theory, right? But if you just open and close your mouth and you go right into that perfect position, right? That's a very stable position. That's the orthodontic ideal. And that should contribute to a healthy or stable musculoskeletal system right around here, okay? So we do want good bites, we do. We think they're great. But what we've also seen is is that there are some people that have really good bites that still have issues or TMDs. There are some people that have wonky bites, you know, 
like that. Actually, I've never seen anybody like that, but I have seen some pretty crazy bites. And sometimes they don't have any problem. Straightening your teeth, moving them around, definitely can cause changes in the way that you bite. Sometimes your brain and all the nerves, everything that's associated with your face and the way things work, right, may be used to a particular bite. And then you go and line up all the teeth and it changes. And so yes, those changes, orthodontic changes, can be factors that contribute to some signs and symptoms of TMDs. But like I said, there are plenty of cases where you get changes and nothing happens, or you never change anything and you still have issues. It's very frustrating, I'm so sorry. So what do you do? Well, because there is no particular surgical method, which is really invasive, or irreversible method that guarantees that you never have problems anymore, the current recommendation is, is that you try to understand your system as best as you can. That means you gotta start paying attention to, hey, you know, when does it hurt? What is hurting? What was I doing when it started hurting? You try to gather as much information as you can. You can also get additional imaging like x-rays or MRIs to help you understand. And then once you get an idea, maybe you start with those procedures that are reversible. Meaning like, for example, an easy technique is focusing on lips together, but not biting down, okay? Some people get really sore in the morning because they don't realize that they're squeezing their teeth like crazy during the night. Or maybe they're, during the day, they, they're, maybe they're squeezing their teeth, they don't realize it, so lips together. Some appliances can be used like a, it's like a bite plate or a night guard, right? Something that's really hard, you can bite into, that keeps you from squeezing so hard or trying to help reduce any inflammation or muscle activity that is associated with squeezing down there. Those techniques might be the best option initially to try and figure out if that helps. There's other things that you can do, but as long as it's not interfering with your daily life, it's not keeping you from work, it's not keeping you from eating, it's not in pain all the time, you might consider that these issues can be transient. And so be careful if you're thinking about doing something really drastic to try and fix it. A few final thoughts. If you're considering braces or Invisalign to try and fix your TMD, then maybe just an honest, in my opinion, right? I don't tell my patients that this is the cure for TMD issues. If you want to straighten your teeth and beautify your bite and try to get it into the most stable position possible, maybe it will help, but maybe not. Is braces or Invisalign better for, you know, people with that are experiencing TMD? Well, there is no solid data about that. It has been argued that maybe the Invisalign, because it has something in between your teeth, kind of like a night guard, so you can't bite down all the way, maybe that can help act like a night guard. My personal experience, we've had people that go through the Invisalign that their symptoms get better, and we have some that say that it gets worse while they're going through that, and we have to make modifications to the treatment. So the answer is that really there's no best solution for TMD as it relates to trying to straighten your teeth and beautify your bite. Unfortunately, for you TMD people out out there because you all have TMJs, but for you TMD people out there, maybe it's some clicking, maybe it's some popping, maybe it's some soreness, maybe it's the locked jaw. Find a professional that you feel comfortable with. Maybe you get multiple opinions. Try to be very sensitive and attuned in tune with, like I said, answering some of those questions. When does it happen? What's going on? See if there are techniques that you can apply that don't require surgery because it might be transient. It might go away at a different part in your life. Sometimes those surgeries, they don't do any better Better, they don't give you any better results than just some of those more simple processes. So, can you get orthodontics? If you can, you straighten your teeth and beautify your bite. If you have TMD symptoms, the answer is yes. Could those symptoms get worse? They could. Could nothing happen? Yes. Could your symptoms get better? Yes. I'm sorry that this was so confusing, and I'm sorry that you have TMD. I hope that you feel better. If you want to come talk to me about your TMDs, be happy to walk through some of these things. See if we can help you out. We can engage maybe other dental specialists or medical providers to help you with this difficult challenge. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that we can, I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth, sometimes helping out with a little TMD and beautiful bites. That's all I got. Just a little PFO so you know where you're going. Packard.